Well, here we are, less than a week away from Election Day, and we've got some brand new technology that'll actually take us beyond the headlines, crunch those numbers, and give us some better context about the races that affect you most. Let's take you inside and show you exactly what we can do. On election night, the morning after, and the days to follow, we'll be able to show you county by county how you voted and how the races that affect you most are playing out. We'll also be taking a look at some of the congressional races that a lot of people are paying close attention to. So much of that revolves around the 23rd Congressional District between Tom Reed and Tracy Metrano, affects people from Jamestown all the way to Ithaca, the 26th Congressional District between Ricky Donovan and Brian Higgins, and then that 27th Congressional race between Chris Jacobs and Nate McMurray. Again, this is their rematch between the two of them. I can actually show you the results as they come in with this race and, of course, with the presidential race as well. But it doesn't stop there. I can also give you some context as it relates to the 2016 election between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. You can see with darker reds, those counties leaning toward the president. With darker blues, those counties leaning toward Hillary Clinton. We can also do some forecasting with you, showing you the probabilities, the possibilities, and the projections when it comes to the Electoral College, because we know so much of the popular vote is one thing, but the Electoral College is a completely different story. Say, for instance, President Trump takes Florida, while Joe Biden takes New York State. We'll be able to show you these possibilities in real time with some actual context. This software is state of the art. We'll be going in depth, taking a different approach to the elections, going beyond the headlines and going beyond the numbers both on election day and moving forward. And we know that there is going to be a lot of questioning going on in the days after election day. You can also find the latest local and national results in the palm of your hand on election day as soon as we get results with our WKBW app and on WKBW.com. Just look for the vote 2020 section on our website.